This is the future of classic cars. It's the future of your old car that you loved when you were a kid growing up and you thought, yeah, that thing was cool, but actually it sucked. And am I really going to buy some 1970s, 1960s, 1980s old bomb now? Well, yeah, maybe you would. If you knew, you could turn it into an incredibly beautiful driving, modern resto mod electric car. Obviously they've got a, a cover that goes all the way across that. Yeah. So there's three of them there. It's like having an old classic car that drives like a new one, emits no fumes, and it's actually fast. The weight is all on the bottom of the car. You can have the perfect 50-50 weight distribution. If only I had known just how affordable it actually is. And when you consider the affordability today, have a think of what the affordability will be in 10 years time when there's electric cars at your local wreckers or just sitting there waiting for someone to come along. Finish the trim yeah. on the car. This yeah. car's driving, drives beautifully. Yeah. We're about to finish the upholstery, Piper 9 motor, charger, DC to DC. Motor. And use all those parts to turn your old classic car or an old classic car into a beautiful new electric one. I fully charged live. I met a guy who's doing exactly that. It got me it got me thinking. I'd love to do this to a classic car. Would you? I mean, do you have a car that you grew up with when you were a kid where you thought, yeah, it was my first car. I'd love to have a, a better version of that. Like maybe you could I could even buy the same car, the same model, the same color, everything else and have a beautiful new modern feeling car that looks like the old car you had when you were a kid. If it was affordable, if it cost say 20, 30,000 US dollars, would you do it? I think there's a lot of people who would. Here's my interview with a man who is doing this for a price that, well, most people could actually afford. Hey guys, I'm here with the man from Electro Gusto, Nick. And he does electric car conversions. We've got all these vehicles he's converted. You know what? The future of plastic cars, in my opinion, sacrilege. Ooh. <laughs> That's what the, 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 the petrol that. car loves. Yep. But a lot of them are doing it. A lot of people are spending, um, you know, big money doing yes. things like the Porsche yes. Singer. Singer. Yes. Yep. Huge demand, yep. years of demand for those cars. Yes. And people are converting, you know, 1950s, 1960s cars to electric, yes. making them, in my opinion, just way, way better. Yes. Would you say yes. they're better? Yeah, they're way better. And yeah. um, I think, you know, look, I've got a, an old Porsche as well, and one day that will be electric. Because I think that at the moment, you know, a lot of people say it's sacrilege, it's a 1968 T. But one day, we were laughing the other day, that it'll be like smoking. You know when you see someone smoking, you're like, okay. oh, get, get out of here, get out of here. You, you know, I've seen that on my channel like 10 times. Oh, have you really? Yeah, oh, yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. We're like-minded. Well, yeah. One day there'll be someone, you know, my wife's a naturopath, so every time I set up those petrol cars, she's like, oh, get out, it's toxic, it's toxic. Mate, so, yeah, it is, it is. So one so, day we'll all have to do it. Tell the viewers about your history, what your, what, like, your, how, what got you into this? Yeah, so I what grew your, up, What your company in this sort of thing? All right, yeah. so our company's called Electro Gusto. We're yeah. here in New South Wales. We're doing classic conversions like this beautiful Type 3 square back here. We're doing a, an old uh, Citroen, an H5 van at the moment. We're doing a Fiat Topolino. We've got some 80s G-Wagon, I say G-Wagon. You've got quite a bit of van, it sounds like. So, yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Um, but these things take a lot of time. But we're, So we're like a tailor-made suit. So yeah. we get a customer's car, um, look at uh, weight distribution, what kind of batteries, what kind of motors, work with the customer about range, what colour do they want the car, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, so um, you can actually make the weight distribution way better than what it was. Yeah. Weight distribution way better than what it originally yes. was because you're you don't have an engine, heavy engine in the front. Correct. You're, you're equaling out the weight. Correct. Probably making your driving experience yeah. way Correct. better. I met a gentleman that used to drive one of these when it was petrol. Yeah. He used to drive around with a bag of cement in the front because they <laughs> don't have much steering in the front, right? Yeah. So now this car drives beautifully because you've got three Tesla batteries in the, in the front. Um, you're using Tesla yes. batteries and Tesla motors. Uh, this one's got a Hyper 9 motor in it, okay. uh, but Tesla batteries. But, but white white Tesla batteries? Uh, they're beautiful batteries. They're great. Yeah, and, here they go, it's beautiful batteries. And they fit. <laughs> I, I agree, I agree. That, they're beautiful. I'm with you. But they fit, they fit beautifully yeah. in this car, so I can show you the fit. Yeah. So, so, and we've actually been embedded down in the You have a look in here. You know, they just, they just, they, um, 
they fit so beautifully. Obviously, they've got a, a cover that goes all the way across that. Yeah. So there's three of them there, and then I'll show you around the back where the business end is. And I'm guessing you do it different for every car. You have a different car. solution. Every car. Yeah. The joy of it is problem solving. Yeah. It's bespoke. So you can yeah. see that'll obviously be covered up. Those batteries will be covered up when we do finish the trim yeah. on the car. This yeah. car's driving, drives beautifully. Yeah. We're about to finish the upholstery. Hyper 9 motor, charger, DC to DC, motor controller. Um, so for me too, it's about making, hiding a bit of the technology. Yeah. We've got a, a, all of our screens are hidden in the glove box and I've got a button that you can push that automatically uh, that's the cool. glove box door. So if you, just, if you just wanted to, like that's a really cool feature. Yep. But if you just wanted to convert your car from gas to electric, something like this, yes. without adding in those extra cool features, yes. I would love it. Yes. What would be an approximate price? So we uh, we started ballpark of about sixty to eighty thousand dollars. That's actually good because I've heard GM has a kit for like fifty thousand US. Yeah, this, that's actually more than that already. Yeah, we're, kit. I think you know we without even putting it in. Yes. Yeah. So we're we're doing uh, I suppose at this moment at this moment in time when customers come to us we're doing it cheaper. We're not making a lot of money, but yeah. we're building our brand um, here in New South Wales. And you know, and as we go and do more cars, we'll probably the prices will go up. But that that amount of money pays the mortgage, pays the rent. Uh, sorry, it pays the wages, pays the yeah. pays the rent. Um, it keeps us going. And, you know, I, I love we're loving. It. I love what you're doing, and, and this is the future, in my opinion, of classic cars. Even though a lot of people don't agree, I agree. I, I think it is. Stuff. Love what you're doing. So good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. And hey, you know what? Um, I I hope. Uh, we get lots of views on this video Thank you. because really, you know, all of these cars are yes. they're so passionate about the soul. They've got a soul. They've got a soul. They've got a soul. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah. I think everybody, it's amazing the people that come in with their cars for us to do, there is a real connection. You know, whether it's their grandmother had it or they grew up with it, was the, was the car that they had was their first car and now they want to do it. Um, they really have a song. I think I think petrol cars will be banned eventually. Yes. So this, this will probably be the only, the only choice. It'll be like. I agree. Yeah. I agree. That's the future. Thank you, man. Thanks, buddy. Good on you, man. Take care. Take care. Thank you.